Here is your super sharp report, and that's sometimes tough to say. Come on, say it three times fast. Super sharp report for this uh, Sunday, week 12 of the NFL. Yeah, you can see Joe Duffy's picks is on fire, but why don't we give you some of the sharp versus square information for the uh, NFL action today. Biggest public consensus moves in terms of bet. Again, this is the exact intel that contrarian bettors use. A lot of people say that you want to bet against the public, and therefore the contrarian bettors would bet against each one of these teams. These are the most popular bets in terms of bet. Baltimore, Detroit, Seattle, and the New York Giants. And these are posted right now at JoeDuffy.net. And once again, that's purely percentage. So in other words, a $15 bet counts the same as a $15,000 bet. But contrarian bettors will tell you, yeah, those very small players, the Joey Bag of Donuts, they are the best source for contrarian information. Even some would argue a $15 bet should be, our, uh, should be weighed heavier than a $15,000 bet. Most lopsided bets in terms of percentage of money, and therefore the biggest sportsbook liabilities today. The sportsbooks are rooting against these teams. All the big money on Detroit, Baltimore, Seattle. And we do have one game that qualifies as a sharp versus square move for today in the NFL. It is to go with Jacksonville. Once again, Jacksonville. Some critical NFL injuries for the uh, Sunday night game. Looks like San Francisco, a bunch of guys that were considered questionable early in the week are going to play. Uh, George Kittle, tight end, and then two wide receivers, Emmanuel Sanders and Debo Samuel. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady is going to start. By the way, we have a humongous play in that game at Joe Duffy's picks, as uh, you can see on the screen unless you're listening to the podcast, but humongous play on that, and we're red hot. We'll tell you about it more in a moment. But Mohamed Sanu, recently acquired wide receiver, limited uh, is Play, practice very little this week. Not a full workload is expected. Seahawks defensive end Jadavian Clowney is expected to play through some pain. Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver also on Jeffries probable, but Nelson Aguilar is doubtful. Running back Jordan Howard is also doubtful. Howard, a nice acquisition, 525 yards rushing, six touchdowns rushing and one receiving. Jeffrey, 34 catches for 353 yards. Redskins running back Adrian Peterson is considered probable. We're going to get to weather in a moment. Folks, there's really no other way to say it. Joe Duffy's picks simply put the best in the industry. It was that case last decade, the decade before that. Winning publicly since 1988, latest I'm doing 13-3. Overall, 15-7 and seven NFL. NFL Game of the Year does go early. Then the Fox Sports Center Conference Game of the Year. Dallas and New England, two name plays in the same day. Yeah, that's right. I got 12 NFL and and two NBA. I win more than anyone else because I work harder and I've got the best computer software in the world. You're either betting with us or you're subsidizing us. Joe Duffy's picks at offshoreinsiders.com. There is a 66% chance of rain on the Dallas and New England game. Now remember, uh, the key is the most important thing when it comes to weather is... Um, wind speed, and that very much affects the total more than anything. We actually got five games right around the 15 to 16 mile per hour, which is kind of our, our minimum where it becomes significant. Miami, Cleveland, Oakland and the Jets, Seattle and Philadelphia each expect about 15 mile per hour winds, and one more mile per hour each for Denver and the Buffalo game, Detroit and Washington. Got a uh, free pick for today, and in fact, we put this uh, up last night. Let's just check the latest. Yeah, still still a very similar line, Dallas and Houston. Now, uh, Houston, and uh, yeah, we've been doing this. Okay, should, um, we were, were asked a question, let's see this software. I think I should be able to post this, but uh, the real Brandon, yeah, do we have a day pass? You better believe it. Visit offshoreinsiders.com for Joe Duffy's picks. We do have a day pass, and it's a mere twenty-one dollars. So you can get all that, all that we said, NFL and two NBA, including those two name plays. We look forward, to, uh, Brandon, if you've never gotten a play from us before, 
And I guess based on that question, I'm going to say pretty good chance you have it. We look forward to you beginning the rest of your gambling life. Houston and um, Dallas in the NBA. Houston followed an eight-game winning streak with consecutive losses. But favorites are a pick in said situation. A solid 36-31. and 31. Nothing special. But what it does tell you is the teams bounce back. Now, Dallas won four straight on four straight, but they're hitting the road. Listen to this. Fading underdogs of five or more with four or more game winning streak is 342, 244, and 18. 67.9 percent when we're riding. You know, the team we're riding has a two or more game losing streak. Free winning pick is to go with Houston in the NBA. Once again, Houston in the NBA. We got another NBA winner for you. Pelicans and the Clippers. New Orleans has won three straight, but Fading road dogs of seven or more in a winning streak like that. A very impressive 321, 237, and 9. And uh, we're going to fade that. We're going to go with the L.A. Clippers. Once again, the L.A. Clippers is your free winner. Now, the top NFL teams in terms of margin of cover. Margin of cover, some people call it sweat barometer. It's how much you do cover by or not cover by, whatever the case is. Now, interestingly enough, Baltimore, despite a 5-5 five and five record, covering by an average of 9.9 .9 points per game. San Fran, they're 5-4-1, four, four but they are covering by an average of 9.2. And what that tells us is, look, uh, when they're not covering, they're barely not covering. When they are covering, they're covering by a large margin. So these will tell you these teams have been better than their spread records indicate. New England, a very impressive 7-3 and three ATS record, but they're only covering, well, only um, relative, but their third best margin to cover in the league at seven points per game. Minnesota, they're six and five, but they're covering by an average of three point one. Now these teams have been the best to bet against. Cincinnati, four and six against the spread, but they're failing to cover by <clears throat> an average of four six point five points per game. Washington and the New York Giants, both three and seven. Washington minus five point eight. The Giants minus four point eight. <clears throat> Miami. At uh, five and five, they're failing to cover by an average of four point five. Cleveland three six and one, they're failing to cover by an average of three point three points per game. Now remember, if you're betting Joe Duffy's picks, you definitely need a sports book that pays you on time each and every time. That's what my bookie does, and in fact, every single sports book that is featured on OffshoreInsiders.com has been very thoroughly vetted. You get up to a $1,000 bonus for a first-time deposit. Play with Bitcoin. Get the fastest payouts. Totally professionals run mybookie.ag. Look, I've been in this business uh, really since 1986. I always say 1988. That's when I did it full-time. I was in college and was working for Dial Sports back in like 86. But anyway, I built up a great reputation. I'm not going to throw up down the toilet by sending you to a crappy sports book. I use mybookie.ag. They pay on time. Fast cash payouts. You want to make a deposit or redeposit? Bitcoin, piece of cake. Please use the promo code Duffy, mybookie.ag to ensure you get the largest sign-up bonus.